a bodger's den. It's a shelter made out of very much out of materials which are available in the woodland to keep the worst of the weather off, mainly during the winter. But there's quite a lot of people who are quite interested in doing this sort of green woodworking. Uh, started by a guy called Mike Abbott in the 1970s. We'd actually lost a lot of the tools and a lot of the techniques um, for various reasons in the last 120 odd years. So it's, it's had quite a good revival and people are quite interested in it because it's going a bit more back to nature. It's very simplistic. You can use you know, timber that you can go and cut out from a hedgerow, you know, from the tree you've cut down in your garden. So it doesn't have to be anything special. You know, it doesn't need to be all treated and, um, and selected and you know, milled and everything like that. You can actually make things from bits of timber which are literally just lying around. Bodger nowadays has a, a quite derogatory sort of meaning of a um, you know someone who who doesn't really do things properly. It's a bit done on the cheap. Where a traditional bodger is someone who works out in the woodland and you know uses green material to make really handy, useful sort of products. That would have been the mainstay of lots of people's lives. You know, if you needed a little stool, you went to the bodger and he made you a little stool. Then there was, you know, sort of mass production coming in. This sort of art died out and then changed and became quite a derogatory sort of term for something that's a bit not very good. The technique that we've used is um, a little bit of a sort of a hybrid between very traditional and a little bit modern. We've cut flats onto all the joints. <laughs> use things like threaded bar rods so a lot of the joints are bolted together and we've bolted them through for the main structure to ensure that it's nice and safe. It's impossible to know exactly how everything's going to fit together like a like a manufactured product would be. This is you know working with nature, it's working with what you've got and achieving the best result, but you have to do quite a bit of thinking when you're actually on site. I mean, this has a little bit more of a, an organic feel to it. It's a little bit more um, so sort of the building grows as you're you're making it. So it, it's yeah, it's a little bit more of a natural way of building then nowadays uh, everything is designed beforehand everything's ordered in and it's all a uniform size and it just goes together which is absolutely fine but to make something that's very uniform there will not be another structure like this because you know the material will be completely different the next time yep on we're through We've changed the design a little bit, so as we've built stuff, so it's been quite an organic sort of design process on this one. Nothing's really assessing what we do. We have a big pile of wood and we make something out of it, so it's not a case of like, oh, we haven't got that size piece of wood. We'll have something which will do the job. And we've used splits and round material to make up some rustic fencing to give a, a sort of an enclosure for the area. Then we've used cedar shingles onto the roof. So is this bodger built to last? Uh, it should last about 15 to 20 years, hopefully. We use some nice big chunky sized material so it'll last quite a long time. But they're also, you know, they are sort of half temporary sort of structures. So there will be bits of fixings to do with, you know, things will start to you know, deteriorate a little bit. So five years time, some of the guys who will be working here will go out to the, you know, the, the coppice that's just here and cut some more bits of silver birch and replace bits and pieces. And, you know, it's, it's very much a sort of a cycle type of thing that they were constantly changing. So it needs TLC? Yes, yes. Always need a little bit of TLC, a little bit of love, love and care, yes. <laughs> <laughs>